Yo, yo, Reaper team, what's up? Good afternoon. It is uh, February 6th, dead of winter, baby. Super pumped, man, just leaving Brigantine. It's actually a really nice day. It's like uh, 48 degrees. It's a little bit windy, though. It's blowing out of the south-southwest, but uh, Zach and I are taking the maiden voyage on River Reaper. Super pumped. So I'm heading up Seacombe Bay Sportsman Center. Captain Dave's got some fresh grass shrimp, so I'm gonna stop over there, get some fresh bait, meet Zach. He's actually already at the uh, at the boat ramp. I worked till like one o'clock last night, so I kind of got a late start getting moving. We really just want to get out, run the boat. If we catch a couple perch, that'll be a bonus. So I will see you guys at the ramp. We're out on the water. We're catching fish, or one of the two. All right, guys. So this is apparently the boat ramp. Let's see, it's a little rugged here. There we go. There's that truck. Oh hell, guys, it's windy as all get out here. We're at the river now. See, it's definitely pretty windy. All right, team, so quick audible. So the spot that we actually want to fish is like six miles from this uh, from this um, ramp. So that's a little bit of a run in this little boat with this wind. It'll probably be like going into a two to three foot chop. So call it an audible. We're going to go to a different ramp. It's out of the world, Zach. Yeah, I know. Hey, I'll torture you with this. So we're excited, man. I'm so pumped. We're going to use the little new little boat and hopefully catch some fish. Seatbelt. Pumped. All right, guys, we have uh, officially lost our minds here. There's literally like no water in this here thing. I don't know how to use this. Hey, how's this thing work? Where's that go, right here? Okay, where's the tilt? Where? Oh, I see. And though it's the start, the green? The green's the start? All right. Yeah, we're good, we're running. You got a paddle? I don't think we got any water right here. Now. Like none. We're not really floating, I don't think. Now. Yeah. So we yeah, really didn't no uh, plan this out all that well. This was a very much so impromptu afternoon trip, but um, you'll see, we got it done. We figured it out. Team, not going too well. It's howling. And uh, there's like no water here. We're not really floating. Uh, so I don't know what we're gonna do. What I'm hoping is if we can just kind of skim a run out of here, we'll see. Oh, there you go. Let the younger guy do that. There you go. Perfect. This is so fun. We got to get a, a little push pull or something, you know? There you go. That's a good idea. Mush. I don't want to leave you. You tell me when you're ready to hop in. We're golden, bud. Oh, yeah. I haven't done this in a while. I don't think we're doing real good. We're not really in a lot of water. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, she idles so low. It really is, yeah. All right, guys, we're cruising, baby. Here we go, baby. Six knots! Controlling speed. Yeah, right? I bet there's some fish right on this bridge. All right, hold on. I 
That's four. Yeah. Guys, first fishing spot, first fishing adventure on River Reaper. We are so excited. So we're set on about eight and a half foot of water, and we're literally right up against the, the marsh. So there should be some structure. I mean, you know, you got the marsh. What we got here, team, is two big... Yeah, literally right across from where we put it. Oh, yeah? Two... Oh, they're jumping right out, dude. They're just jumping right out. Look. So we got two big totes of grass shrimp, guys, and they're literally just jumping right out. Little chum going. I don't know where the other little guy went. There he is. Look. So that's the bait today, guys. Little, little baby grass shrimp. I should be able to catch these behind my house. And then what? So these are little pill floats. And then just tiny little hooks. Here, you want one of these? Huh? Here, they're in here. Get into it. So this is the rig. So just a little, two little pill floats. I guess we'll thread two grass shrimp on here. I'm totally new to this. I've never done it. So if we even get a bite, I will be happy. Huh? Oh yeah, dude, you gotta... On this, you don't use your man hands. No, he didn't say necessarily. I read the one thing they said that you can chum them. I even read the one thing you can you can chum with like clam. Uh, John Clayton said, like, move around. If you, if you, you know, if you're there for like 15 minutes and you don't get bit, move. You know? All right, guys, the first rod on River Reaper. You in yet, Zachy? Yep. <laughs> oh, oh my God. You have a bite? No, you got me with that. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, we got one. <laughs> Sorry. Look at it. We're a little jumpy. Oh, dude, I'm missing a shrimp. Missing a shrimp. Awesome. All right, guys, nothing at that first spot. So we're going to uh, mosey on out of here. Try a second spot. Engine fires right up. I mean, it's funny, though. At low idle, it's like... It's so quiet, almost, you don't even know it's running, so it's pretty cool. Alright guys, Zachy's got the oh, first... perch! Zachy's got the first fish on River Reaper! It's a moose! It's a moose! Look at that thing! Woo! Look at the size of that oh, thing, dude. Stripper. As did I. Oh, that's eating her there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, first fish on River Reaper. Proper. What the heck, dude? That's the biggest thing I ever seen. That's a monster. That might be a record. Look at that. Dude, that's a moose. <laughs> He's going in the pan. He's going in the pan. <laughs> Ooh, fried him up. Where's the scissors? Now I want one. I actually want to try to eat one. I've never oh, had one so before. I heard they're delicious. There you go. There you go. Dude. All right, Reaper team. Time to get serious now, guys. Monster. On, on the float rig? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Monster. All right. Confidence is up now. Need that confidence, confidence fish. Oh, you dork. You dork. Stop. Oh, he's going to eat. He's gonna eat! Woo -hoo -hoo. He's gonna eat, baby! He's gonna eat! Dude! Zach the Perch Slayer! Yeah. I'm gonna have to commit, I'd like you said, to one rod. To one rod. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Dude, what a move! Let's see him. Oh, dude, yeah. That's awesome. An eater? Team, 
yellow fin, blue fin, swordfish, sharks. We do it all, baby. Mutton snapper. We do it all. This is awesome. You gotta dedicate one rod. All right, here we go. Here we go. I feel like I'm in like uh, I feel like I'm in like Minnesota or something. <laughs> right? Like. Yeah. Gold, something new. Gold. Tiny little tiller boat. Oh, I saw that. You got him? I'm so done with you. Oh, dude, that's laying another good one, dude. Just laying him into him. Dude, dude, what the heck, bro? What are you doing? What I don't know. I've got to change the color. You got the, the it's a different color, the green and the orange. He nailed it. Dude, it must be that orange. I'm digging it. Dude, he's kicking my butt. Let me check them out. Let me just see how neat they are. It's so cool. Oh man, they're actually like good size. So guys, we're in the we're in the Balka River now. White perch are, are freshwater fish, so we're very much so far enough up the river that this is basically all freshwater. I'm pretty sure they can withstand brackish, basically so fresh. Uh, but I'm pretty sure here we're totally fresh. I got some. We're uh, we're really far past the you know past. We're really far west of the uh, of the inlet in the ocean, so. Um, but I'm gonna try a different color, cause Zachy is definitely out fishing me. That's so cool. Oh, I just had a mark too. I just had a mark. Guys, yeah. he's got another one. <laughs> he's laying into him. And of course, I don't have any more of that color. He's laying into him. Killing it. That's right. I'm so done with you. I catch you dinner. Yeah, yeah. All right, Reaper team. Zachy is kicking my rear end. Let's get cracking here. Let's get cracking. Come on. No more playing around now. Just done with you. Just done with you. I'm just done. I just had enough. Just had enough. How's the bite? Like, what does it feel like? It feels like you're dragging. It feels like you're dragging. dragging those bites. Uh, if you pay attention, like, if you notice, it feels like a drag, but we're kind of moving that way. It's like, okay, it's a bite. Dude, dude, it's like, like another one. I'm so done with it. Here we go, here we go. Yes! You're missing the bites? Yes! Woo, that's Woo, a good one! That's a good one. Dude, yes! 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 Yeah! He walloped it, baby! Oh, yeah, he nailed it. Oh, my God, guys, this fish is freezing cold. He is ice cold. Open your mouth, come on. Let me see you. Dude, team, look at that. White perch, he's ice cold. I mean, he's just he's freezing. Did you feel your fish? Yeah. Ice water. cold. I thought to say. All right, guys, walloped it. Yes, yes. Let's do that again. It definitely. Oh, you got another one? We're laying into him. Oh, We're laying into him. Oh, yes. We're laying into him. This is so fun, guys. This is a new fishery. Zach and I have literally never really done it. At all, actually, yeah, we've never really done it. And uh, it's so cool. So we're making it work. Dead of winter, February, not much else to do. Super pumped, baby. Super pumped. I just, I, team, I really love, I love like learning new fisheries. It's so fun. Like, I, I don't want to say I get bored with a fishery once I've kind of mastered it, but kind of do. Um, so maybe we'll get we'll get good at this. Right in that, there's like a little hole, I think, right there, Zach. Where we're Minnesota, and he's oh right. yeah, baby! <laughs> they're in that hole right there, guys. They're right in that hole, and they're all like decent size. Good ones. Guys, look at this. I mean, it's so cool. Not really. Well, it was not really built for a canoe. 
Yes, guys. Yes. White perch in the winter. Got him. That one's a little smaller. Yeah, that's an eater. He'll eat. In you go. In the pan you go. There's live grass shrimp. Chumming every now and then. And uh, we're doing all right. Oh yeah. Oh, I missed him. Oh no, I got him. I got him. He's swimming towards me. No, he's not bad at all. Yeah, baby. See that team? They got like these big eyes. I guess for you know really poor water quality. Oh, this dude's got like a parasite on him. On his tail. See that? Parasite. Look at their neat, neat dorsal fins too. Got a decent one. Back, he's got a decent one. Pan. That's a nice one. That's an eater. Pan. That's an eater. They're all eaters. <laughs> dude, they're definitely digging that little bit of orange, though. I think, man. I think it's, it's funny, though, dude. They hit it, man. Yeah. When they want to hit it, they really commit. Oh man, he nailed it, dude. Right at the boat. Whoa. Right at the boat, bud. There we go. Right at the boat. We got him here. We're here. I'm gonna throw a couple for Chum. I think we got him here. Barely had him. Barely had that one hooked. Yeah, baby. Give myself more room to work here. Oh, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> you had him the whole time? Yeah, I had him the whole time. Didn't even know it. He ate the hell out of it. So exceeded my expectations. I thought we'd make, you know, if we caught one, I'd be pumped. Bite the other one. Dang. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Nice low in the wind there, too. Yeah. We're loading the cooler there. You know, it'd be cool if Yasha's boy gets into this. Yeah. Map, map out the whole damn river. <laughs> They're like, no, Uncle Zach. Mid tide, this wind, you want to go right here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, but I got him. Going? Oh, yeah, I got him. He's running at me. He's running at me. He's running at me. Another nice one, dude. Another bruiser? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another nice one. Got him? Oh yeah, basically a double. Ah. Oh, you got the bottom one. All right. Sorry. Double. Jump up there. Right? Let's say throw a couple more out there. Yeah, next time we'll bring some chum. Jump swarming. Yeah. I'm tempted to tuck hey, the lure. Listen, this year, listen. We'll take this boat. And let's go winter flounder fishing. Yeah, yeah. Deal? Yeah, it's perfect. This will be perfect, right? Way easier. It'll be easier. You don't have to go far it's right in the bay, right? Yeah, you don't have to go far, I don't think. I mean, do you guys get them like right up near docks and stuff? Like next month, right? Gee. Or is it March? I think last year they were getting them March and April. I think it it all, a lot of it also depends on the winter. I think you know? it depends when it opens, though. Yeah. A lot of guys said, um, Shark River is good. You know. I would think honestly the further north you go, the probably the better. Yeah. On the bow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, fatty. I still think your first one was the biggest, yeah. huh? Yeah. There she is. That's a little one. That's a little one. That's the smallest one. Oh, look at that thing. That's the smallest one. What is it? It says 36.7. Plausible? It can't be that cold, can it? I can't rid of it. Doing good? Yeah, we're actually doing well. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, yeah. Go? I gotta go there. Your, your 
quality over quantity, on pal. The bottom. Oh wow, look at that one. Bottom. This chunker, guys. <laughs> they got really sharp gills. Come on, Wynn. There you go. A little lull. Right? Got another one. <laughs> oh, look at that slop. Oh, yeah. Billy. That one. Hey, you go. A quarter pounder. Yeah. Nice pan fryer's access. Stop drifting this way. I got him. Ah, yeah. Pan. It's in the pan. Top hook. Top hook guy. Ah, maybe not. Average, just a fighter. In the pan we go. Oh, zacky has got him. Zachy's got one too. Let's see him. That's ah, a little one. I should probably text my wife. Be like, yo, fish for dinner. Oh, there you go. You're definitely high hook, dude. You have probably twice as many fish as I do. Oh, I missed them. Oh, boo. Good again. Yeah. Why is that sun going down, you know? Turn it on. Now, team, it's 20 to 5, and uh, we lost track of time. It's just been so fun. We literally have grass shrimp all over the boat. God knows how many fish. Um, and they're starting to pick up here a little bit, so we're going to chum a little heavy here, see if we can't get them going. And uh, end the day on a super awesome note. But so far, this has been an amazing, amazing maiden voyage. As long as we get the boat back safe and sound on the trailer, what a day. Super stinking pump, man. Come on, eat it. Little tap. Oh, I'm done with you. You got my fish. Oh, 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 I'm get bit. Oh, I missed him. Right that was me, yeah. Look how nice it is behind me, team. Look at that pretty sunset going down. The wind's finally mellowing. So, uh, I'm telling you guys, New Jersey, it's beautiful here. You wouldn't think it, but I mean, look at this river right now. It's just... No skyscrapers, not a whole lot of houses. It's just beautiful back here. It's so quiet. Good to get out of the house. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. All I ask from you guys is just hit that subscribe button. I want 100,000 subscribers. If you get there, you get a silver YouTube play button. And I want one. There it is, baby. One last one. Feels good, too. Oh, dude, he feels nice. Yes. All right, Reefer team, I'm gonna end it on that note. One last fish for the dinner table. But I think I'm gonna see you guys back in my kitchen because I'm gonna fillet these guys up, bread them, and fry them and see how they taste. I'm super excited. I'd say, I'd say we did all right, guys. All right, team, that's a wrap. Yeehaw, we nailed it. What an awesome first trip. Just so cool. Pretty much fires right up. Takes a little while to get used to, right? Yeah. I just want to go fast all the time. I know, you're not used to driving like that.
Twelve, fourteen, sixty, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Good call. I guessed it right. On the right on the dot. Guys, take a peek at the river right now. It's absolutely beautiful right now. It's like a different river. The wind died. Beautiful. So I'll see you guys back at the house. Uh, what's really neat is literally about a mile that way is my buddy Yasha's house. Right on this beautiful, tranquil river here in New Jersey. Awesome. All right, Reaper team, what's up? So it's around 8.30, we're back in my kitchen. Everybody seems to really dig the catch and cook, so let's try it again. So uh, just real quick, ingredients. So all we're gonna do here is our nice white perch fillets, a little canola oil, a nice you know, hot pan. We'll get that going behind me. A couple of eggs to make an egg wash. And then this is a New Orleans fish fry batter mix that I just bought from uh, Bob's Seafood right here in Apsican, so we'll give that a shot. Um, I didn't want to overpower the, the fish too much. I really actually wanted to just do some Italian breadcrumbs, but I didn't have any. So I had this down in the garage. So let's give it a go. So um, let me show you the, the fish fillets up close and uh, we'll get cooking here. So you can see they're a really nice white flaky meat. From what I hear, it's a very, very mild fish. We'll give it a go here. I will say um, I'm not used to filleting one pound or less fish. I mean, I think our biggest one today was probably maybe a pound and a half if not uh, two pounds. I'm used to filleting, you know, 60, 70 pound tuna. But I think it did pretty good. You know, the fillets were about that big, so let's get them breaded, fried, and I, I think for white perch, I, you know, just looking at the fillets, I think it'd be really nice for like a really neat appetizer, like fish fingers. I don't know if you're gonna go out there and make a whole meal out of, out of white perch fishing, but man, it was just so fun. That was so fun to get out on the river like that. On our first try, the boat ran great, everything was fine. We had one tiny little hiccup. I think we just sucked something up into the probably the intake for the coolant. And um, yeah, it was just so fun. I was like, I think it was just beginner's luck. Team, so I've got the canola oil just kind of slowly, you know, warming up behind me. Once that gets to temp, probably somewhere around 350. Um, when I'm doing this, you know, pan frying, I don't I don't get nuts with temperatures, I don't measure it, none of that. Um, you'll know when it's hot enough. See it start bubbling, you can even drop a little bit of the um, you know, breadcrumbs or what have you, whatever you're frying it in there. As long as it's fizzing, you're good. So, All I'm really gonna do is just gonna dredge these guys in the egg wash, in the fry batter, over to this plate, and then once that gets hot enough, we're gonna stow them on in there and eat away, baby. So let's see, so coat them in the egg wash. Again, nothing nothing gnarly here, nothing crazy. Coat them in the, in the fry mix, and that's it, guys, super pump, baby. That's it, I'll do this, you know. And I will also tell you guys, this is, um, what you're seeing here, this is only half of my take of the fish. So Zach, you know, we kept exactly 30 fish. So Zach took half, obviously I took half, and this is only half of my half. So, you know, we did all right. All right, now I've pretty much had this on a medium burner, so let's turn it up to a high burner, and really get this thing cranking. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll test it. I'll, again, I'll take a little bit of the frying stuff. Oh yeah, sure, we're good. Now you can see the fillets there all dredged up. Looks pretty good. It should give us a nice little golden brown taste. And it most definitely should not take very long. So I'm gonna get that going. So I have this thing called a power boil. So let's get that, let's get that oil cranking here. This grease should be really hot, so let's throw them in. So I'm gonna back away here. Don't get too close, just lower them in real gently. Oh yeah, that, that she's ready to roll, baby. She's ripping. Woohoo! Don't get your eyes too close though. So I'm just laying them in there like that. And these little these little fillets shouldn't take real long at all, I wouldn't think. See they're getting golden brown. A little longer. Spread them out a little bit. Alright team, so yeah, probably just a couple minutes per side. This you know fillets are so paper thin. I'd probably say four minutes a side if that. Um, just about to take them off now. Uh, that batter, um, it looks super crunchy. So excited. We'll try and get a line down here to try some. Um, and I'll show you guys, I'll zoom in on exactly what that batter is if I like it. Just so pumped. Yeah. 
Never had white perch. Ah. I don't. I hope you can see that. And I wish you had smell of vision, but I think you could serve this with um, uh, like a sweet Thai sauce, a spicy Thai sauce, hot sauce, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce. I elected for cocktail sauce. I may not even use any of it. Um, let's just take a bite. I mean, good lord, look at that. Just so crispy. Wow, let's see. Probably really hot. Really hot. Wow, that's good. Oh my god, that's really good. I'm not just saying that because I caught it. It has, it actually has more flavor. My friend John Clayton said it has more flavor than Fluke. Um, it just has this like, almost like a little bite to it, like like you're almost like you're eating crab. That's delicious. Wow. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. That's good with the cocktail sauce. A lot is up in bed. I'm gonna bring her some. Nine o'clock on Saturday, she's in bed. Oh. So crispy. Like little fish fingers. Mmm. It tastes like crab. Wow, that's so good. The batter, it's not too overwhelming. It's got a nice little hint of salt. It's not spicy. Um, it might be a little over, a little too much. I like very mild, um, you know, batter, like just Italian breadcrumbs. I'll spice it up a little bit. This might be a little too salty. Anyway, team, I'm done. I'm going to eat. I'm tired. It's 10 after 9. Hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell. Come on, guys. Let's get this channel growing. Let's go. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. More fishing coming. See ya.